gentlemen, Barry Hearn for Ringside Promotions in association with Prince Promotions and Matram Sport. Proudly present 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBF Light Waterweight Championship of the World. Sponsored here by MatramSport.com. And a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live and exclusive here on Sky Sports. You've joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control in association with the WBF. President Ron Scal of Tennessee, USA has appointed Fight Supervisor, General Secretary of the Southern Area from London, Mr. Robert Smith. Timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Paul Webster. And our three scoring judges here at ringside. Firstly, from Florida, USA, Don Ballas. From Kent, England, Roy Francis and from Derby, England, Paul Thomas. Referee in charge of the action, and without doubt, one of the leading referees in the world today from Birmingham, Mr. Terry O'Connor. They are the officials, and here are the contestants. And firstly, our visitor, would you please welcome, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks, trimmed with black and weighing in at nine stone, 10 pounds. Bringing a 27 fight record, 18 wins, 13 inside the scheduled distance, three losses and six draws. Coming to the ring as the former champion of the Dominican Republic. Would you please welcome from the Dominican Republic, Antonio Ramirez. And across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the black trunks and weighed in at nine stone, 10 and three quarter pounds. 25 fight record, 18 wins, eight inside, the scheduled distance, and seven losses. Coming to the ring as the former British lightweight champion from Manchester, Shannon's Gym, fighting fit. Please welcome Wayne Rigby. So let's get the action underway then. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBF light waterweight championship of the world. Let's punch you in the changing room, shake hands, best of to both. Nick Halling along with Spencer Oliver and Spencer this looks a tall order for Wayne Rigby he's going to have the home support behind him he's had a couple of world title shots in the past but it looks like he's moving up a step in class here against Antonio Ramirez well they're both moving up in weight and both been in some tough grueling contests but you feel that Rigby the one been in the more grueling you remember them two memorable battles he had with Michael Ayres I mean real up and down as and they would take a lot out of any fighter so it just remains to be seen what both of these fighters have got left at this level. But Ramirez certainly starting the favourite. Would be sinking the left hook to the body early. 29 years old now, Wayne Rigby, and the uh, one-time slaughterman from Manchester knows that opportunities, even in today's boxing scene, world title opportunities don't come along that often. This is his third chance. You think he's got to take this one? Well, I think that he knows that he's coming towards the end of his career, really in the veteran stages. This is a nice start from Rigby, nice positive start. Ramirez starting pretty slowly. I was going to say, the big difference immediately between this fight and those fights he had with Michael Ayers, which you referred to, is they went off like a couple of greyhounds out of the trap in those fights, didn't they? Whereas Ramirez seems quite happy to take this nice and steady for a round or two. Well, oh, is. got him. Just caught him off balance there a little bit. Yeah, good left hook got through. He did look a little unsteady on the legs there, Ramirez. There was definitely a little adjustment to the feet that he wasn't expecting, that's for sure. The man from Santo Domingo. A nice, solid start from Rigby, just taking the centre of the ring, stalking forward. He looks very cagey here, Ramirez. He does look very slow and ponderous. He does. It's a 12-round fight, so, you know, maybe he's just going to take it easy early on. We see that happen a lot. But what we must remember is Ramirez is a very experienced man, campaigned at the top level, so he'll know how to pace himself for the 12 rounds. And has done it a couple of times. Has a 12-round draw. Terry O'Connor steps in there, has a 12-round draw against Freddie Cruz. We remember him from his battles against uh, Steve Robinson and Prince Nazim. 
And indeed, a couple of Prince Nazim's brothers are at ringside, along with Ricky Hatton, who's got uh, big plans of his own. I tell you what, though, this is a terrific start from Rigby. Well, real confident start. He's the one leading off first. Excellent uppercut inside there. And Ramirez really looking very slow. And out of his depth in this first round against Rigby. Right, right, the back, both. The back. Well, I'll have the bookies got this one wrong. Very one-sided opening round. Well, very good start from Rigby. Leading off first, not showing Ramirez any respect at all. Them left hooks are crippling the kick. Work off your jab. But when you throw them right hooks clean, don't step back and stand there, let him hit you. Up the middle. Move away and work off your jab again. Because if you stand there, he's going to come and try and counter you. That's the only way he's going to try and counter. Counter and move. Pressure with the jab. He's wide open to the left hook and the right hook. Well, is he indeed wide open to those hooks? Some good work there from Wayne. Ramirez getting his hands out quite well, but good solid shots from Rigby and just the start that he needed to this contest. Whipping the hooks in underneath, switching them over the top. Just getting around the back of the elbow there. And a good confident start from Rigby. And the exact opposite from the man who calls himself Dry Kane. Not quite sure why he calls himself Dry Kane. And you see it on the back there, Scania Seca on the back of his trunks. See, I know my Spanish. Doesn't seem to be at the show at all at the moment, Ramirez, but uh, ah, now he's starting to open up a little bit. Yeah, if you're the corner man, may have had a little word with him there, whipping those shots in well. Throws a wild swing. Right hand and left hook. Yes, very wild. But I'll tell you what, if one of these lands, Rigby's going to know all about it. And already this second round completely different to what we saw earlier. It's better work from Rigby, working behind that jabs. Good work. Good inside uppercut again. But he's certainly coming out and hunting a bit more now, Ramirez. Even if he looks a little bit crude and wild to me, this is... I mean, look, you, you look at his record, you look at the opponents on his record, and you look at those results. I expected a little bit better than this. And as you said there, he looks very crude, but does look very strong. Looks like he whips yes, those shots in. Absolutely. And he may possibly be one of those fighters that starts off slowly and gradually builds into it. It's a very disappointing first round for him, but he started off better in this second. Well, he was floored early on, about a year ago, when he boxed a fellow called Terence Churchwell in Denver. Churchwell was 18-0 at the time, and it looked like another early night, but Ramirez got off the floor and stopped him in three. Looking very strong in yes, this he's round. Yes, he's up the tempo noticeably. Rigby, well, he always looks a bit marked, doesn't he? He's had a lot of uh, damage around the eyes throughout his career. And he's looking a bit red already. He does look a bit red noticeably under that left eye. And the pace has really picked up, and uh, Rigby doing the right thing, boxing behind the jab. Well, that's what he needs to do here, Rigby. Ramirez looks very tough, very crude. Rigby's best. Some of this stuff's very low from the, the traveller as well. Best trying to keep it behind that jab. Right, the big ball. What's the end? I'm not sure Ramirez would uh, understand that translation. Thank goodness for the, uh, the visual effect from Terry O'Connor as well. Good left hook went in there from... Rigby just yes. pushed Ramirez back. Yes, right at the end of the round. That was the bad news for Rigby. Definitely clocked him one with about 10 seconds left. Yeah, better round for Ramirez and one that I'd score for him. Just seems to be doing a higher work rate. 
Rigby catching him with a good left hook at the end of the round. And every time he catches Ramirez with a good shot, just seems to be a little unsteady on his legs. I think we may have a couple of knockdowns in this fight. Both these fellas have a history of being on the floor and getting up and putting their opponents down as well. I'd be very surprised if these two are both still standing unblemished at the end of 12 rounds. Well, we've seen... So this is what you want to be doing, mate. We've seen Rigby on a number of occasions, and what a big heart he's got. There's some good work from Rigby there, short hook inside. I think the best fight, when he looks back at the end of his career, Wayne Rigby, his greatest hour was that first fight against Michael Ayers. When he lost, he was stopped in 10, but what a performance. And how lucky was Michael Ayers that that bell came at the end of the eighth when he got floored. That's right. 10 seconds earlier, Rigby would have had the title. Round three here of this 12-rounder. Yeah, very difficult to separate them at the moment. I've got Rigby winning the first, Ramirez the second. But Ramirez looking dangerous with that right hand over the top. He does look strong. There's no doubt about that at all. And 14 KOs in his 18 victories as well. So if he gets you, you're in trouble. Turning into quite a rough old fight here. Terry O'Connor's going to have his hands full if this carries on like this. Well, Rig Rigby won't mind mixing it up either. That's what I was going to say. We've seen Rigby on a number of occasions, and he, this is what he loves. But Ramirez getting through some good shots again there. This is much better from Ramirez. I mean, Rigby is missing with a lot of shots now. Shots that he wasn't missing with in the first round. Yeah, and R Ramirez noticeably picking up the work rate, as you said, and putting the shots together well in threes and fours. And Rigby's trying to land that left hook about three times in this little spell and missed on all, with all of them. And been tagged in return. He's the sort of fellow, by the look of him, he'll, he'll wear you down, Ramirez, and then suddenly you, it's one shot too many, isn't it? He's very, very strong indeed. Comes forward, swinging those shots in, and puts them together in threes and fours. Good left hook, counter punch there from Rip, you know. Rigby needs to go back to the jab, working everything behind the jab, trying to unsettle Ramirez. Yes, instead of letting Ramirez dictate the pace, which is what is starting to happen. Very crude. But the sort of boxing that will wear you down. A really non-stop punch in front of a lot of work in these first three rounds of Ramirez. Very slow start in the first. Just one or two signs that Rigby's not too happy with this, and he's taking a lot of shots. Needs to get that head moving. Rigby needs to work behind that jab. He's planning to Ramirez his hands at the moment. Just look at it, it's almost a shoving match in there as they both battle for the center of the ring. Tough, tough round, that one. Another round you've got to score for Ramirez. Purely on work break. Rigby doing a lot of covering up, but not coming back with too many shots of his own. Needs to get back behind that jab. Well, it really was incredible how you think on that first round. I mean, he looked like he was going through a sleepwalk, wasn't it? I mean, he hardly did anything, but he's really stepped it up in the second round and the third round he found an another level again the pace really picking up that's what i like about ramirez lets those shots go and they don't all score but enough do don't they there's enough getting through there to, to cause rigby some problems well he just seems happy that if he throws 10 he just seems happy to land with one there's a good left counter from rigby there ramirez look how well he took it taking it well that's a worry that was a good left hook so round four of this 12 rounder for the vacant world boxing federation light welterweight title 
a look at Ramirez start this round. Well, the only good thing you can say from Rigby's point of view is that he can't keep that up, Ramirez. He will punch himself out if he carries on like that. He's got to be a bit smart about it. Rigby doing the right thing by covering up and for the first time seeing him moving his head there, rolling side to side. When you're up against an opponent that's as crude and wild as this, it's often worth just covering up and let them, let them punch themselves out. Just make sure you don't get tagged in the process, of course. Oh, good shots. Rigby felt that one down to his boots. Two right hands. Two vicious right hands going in there. Good job, Rigby takes a good shot. But Ramirez starting to get a lot closer. This is worrying signs for Rigby. Much quicker to get back at his man now, Ramirez. It's Ramirez complaining to the referee, which is not usually a good sign. And these fans starting to get behind Rigby. I think they sense that he needs a bit of help. Well, this does look like another tough, grueling contest that Rigby's going to be involved in. Oh, he's pushing him around all over the place now. Well, very strong indeed. Really non-stop work from Ramirez. Rigby covering up quite well, but Ramirez the one getting through with the success. I mean, it, it really is an indication of just how, I mean, it's not a dirty fight, but they're just so crude. Terry O'Connor's stepping in every 15, 20 seconds. Well, they both want this badly, you can tell. Right, right, the back, both the for you told. Rigby just seems to have a little problem with his nose, keeps dabbing away at that. Yeah, I, I think he got caught. There was a clash of heads there. Rigby got it on the nose, and I think it's bothered him. Getting through with a couple of decent right hands there. Rigby just boost. Ramirez back on the ropes. But look, there he is, just dabbing away at that nose. I think he's got a real problem there. And Ramirez certainly senses it. This is another good round for Ramirez. All action. Another round at hard score for Ramirez. Just doing the better work. Rigby spending too much time covering up. That was a better round, that really was A lot better round. Ferocious that pace that Ramirez is setting. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Listen, Wayne, that was a lot better round that you was boxing, yeah. wasn't you? Is that yeah. going to clear it? Well, was it a much better round, or is there a bit of kidology going on there? Well, I personally thought that Ramirez had the better of that round, getting through with some decent shots again. Yes, I'd agree with you, Spencer. He really has, he, he's turned it up a notch, and it's not often that Rigby, and there he is dabbing at his nose. I mean, why, why would he be doing that, Spencer? Well, it's a real indication that he's got a problem with that nose. It's been dabbing away at it. They've been looking after it in the corner. Perhaps it was a clash of heads that caused some sort of problem. Well, certainly the first time I saw it was after the head had gone in. Round five. Good start from Rigby. Quick double up. And this is where Rigby needs a good round. I've got him winning the first and losing the next three. So he needs to start getting himself back into this one. really has turned into a hunter now, Ramirez. And there's so many punches coming from so many different angles, and Rigby using so much, and, there, and now he's getting the warning, because he's basically using that left hand to control his opponent's head, and Terry O'Connor is not going to show favoritism here. He won't stand for that for much longer. It is nice to see that the ref doesn't show favoritism to the hometown fighter, because we've seen it so many times before. Oh, 
that left got him. Ooh. That forced a couple of backward steps. Yeah, Ramirez getting through with some solid-looking shots now. And still got now, an excellent work rate. I was going to say, now M Ramirez is getting the warning. Good straight left from Rigby. But I just get the feeling, Spencer, that Rigby's landing the odd good shot. Ramirez is landing three or four more per exchange. Yeah, Ramirez is the one that is forcing the pace, working the harder of the two. And Rigby spending too much time on the retreat at the moment. Needs to get that left jab going. He started the fight so well with the left jab. And now seems to have really gone back to covering up and just throwing a single right hand. At least the nose doesn't seem to have bothered Rigby in this fifth round. That's a good left. Definitely wobbled Ramirez, that one. Well, that's the shot that I was talking about, that straight left, putting Ramirez out of his rhythm. And he's open to it as well, Ramirez, isn't he? He's very open indeed. You watch him when he throws his shots, he leans forward, leaves the chin exposed. Good defensive work, that from Rigby. Ramirez is just a bull charging in head first and I, think Terry, I thought Terry O'Connell was going to have a word there but Rigby covered up really well and negated that effort but can he keep this up for 12 rounds because Ramirez is just all over him at the moment we just have to wonder Ramirez is either very confident in his ability to go 12 rounds or he's looking to get this in done inside the distance but it's another good round for Ramirez just out working Rigby at the moment. Yes, your card, Spencer, trying to sneak a look at it. You've got Rigby uh, struggling a little bit, winning the first round, but Ramirez taking the last four to go three up after five. And on work rate alone, it's tough to argue with that. Yeah, Rigby just being outworked yeah, at the moment. You can see, your jab. You've done looking a little He's marked up. Jab. <laughs> this is what you, if this is the key trick, work off your jab. Right. Shoulders up, hands up, tuck up. Don't get going over to your left all the time. Right to left, you can only one way all the time. Okay. Remember, cover up with that jab. And everything comes through, you can't miss him with the right uppercut. Okay. Turn it right, bang, 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 step up, bang, step. When he comes and you're on the ropes, you know what he's going to do. Where is that? Where is that good left? Right. And talking about the right uppercut there, Spencer, haven't you? So sort of the left uppercut there. He's getting much but more effect with his left than with his right. He hasn't landed a good shot with the right yet at all. No, he hasn't. And that was the right instructions from the corner work. Everything behind the jab. That's what I've been saying. Ramirez is unsteady when when Rigby throws that jab. Ramirez finds it very difficult to get past that. But Wayne not doing enough of it at the moment. Get away. Very high and wild and uh, hopeful from Ramirez. Oh, it is a messy old fight, isn't it? How often have we heard Terry O'Connor say that magic word, break? I know, it's very, very messy indeed. Ramirez seems to be so crude. Rigby looking to counter punch and just getting tied up when they both get together inside. Rigby telegraphed that and left a little bit. Ramirez was just able to slip inside. Neither man really working too effectively here so far in the sixth round. Yeah, very slow start from both men in this sixth, but rightly so after the first five. Non stop action. Good left hook getting through there from Ramirez. Rigby, for me, is just not landing enough good scoring shots. And there's so many shots being thrown by Ramirez that enough are getting through. But there we just see the key shot for Rigby lands a couple of good solid jabs. He should work everything behind that jab, come with that right hand after the jab. He's just not doing that at the moment. He's not boxing to the instructions that the corner's given him. Another warning for Ramirez while you were talking there, Spencer. Keep the shots up. Bolton, right to the back. 
He's working up a sweat in there, Terry O'Connor. I think he's sweating more than two fires, to tell you the truth. Good body shots again, and it looks like the right hand got through the guard as well. Yeah, Rigby just seemed to dip at the knees with that last right hand. Tell you when they meet like that, it's Ramirez that's usually coming out on top. Again, it was a solid right hand from Ramirez. Oh, and he's got him with a, a combination this time. And I think there's a cut opening up there now as well over the left eye. We'll have to take another look at that. Yeah, I think you're right, Nick. I think he's picked up a cut there. Looks quite a nasty one as well. And he's shipping some punishment here in the latter stage of this sixth round as well and looking very, very weary. Well, there's a very big right hand went in just before the bell there. Oh, you spotted it, Spencer. And there's so much scar tissue up there already, which never helps a fighter, does it? And now they're really going to have to go to work on him. That's, that's not a good place. No, that's a long cut in a bad place. And as you rightly said, it's no I good. Think work behind it's yourself. One of his old Listen, scars. You mix it all the time, aren't you? Come on. How far have we gone? Right. How far have we gone, Wayne? And you're going to do this to us? Come on. You've got to be boxing this kid. Come here. Yeah. Box him. Well, well, that's, instructions. Some, that's tough words. That is really tough words. That is the corner saying to the fighter, "You are not doing what we're telling you, and you're paying the price." And he is paying the price here, Spencer. He is, but you can't be nice in these situations. The oh, trainer's yeah. job is to get the fighter motivated, and he's right in saying, "How far have we come?" And you're not boxing to instructions. You're boxing your fight, which the trainer's job is to box their fight. They see it from another angle. If something's not working, then you've got to listen to your trainer. What if a trainer had said that to you while you were fighting? Surely part of you would have said, oh, shut up, you're not the one that's in there. No, believe it or not, it happened to me on a couple of occasions. You think you're doing right by boxing one way and your trainer tells you to box the other. If he listens to his trainer's instructions here to box on the end of that jab, he would make this fight a lot easier than he's making it at the moment. Well, survival against the ropes is the name of the game now and Ramirez throwing so many shots. I'm not sure what scored there. It was a very crude assault. And you just wonder if he'll run out of gas throwing punches like that. That, at the moment, looks like Rigby's best hope that this fellow's going to punch himself to a standstill. Well, he's putting so much work in the first half of this contest, Ramirez. You just wonder, can he keep that up for 12 rounds? And can he afford to waste those shots like he did then? Again, getting through with the good right hand over the top, Ramirez. He gets there, doesn't he? That's the thing. He wastes a lot. He'll, he'll waste four to land one. Come on, come on. Come on. They've really got this one slipping away from Rigby at the moment. Four rounds up. I've got Ramirez. The eye halfway through this seventh round. The left eye of Wayne Rigby doesn't appear to be worsening. And just as I say that, though, Ramirez lands a right hand and it opens up again. must be obvious even to the most myopic Manchester fight fan that Wayne Rigby is a mile behind here and he's shipping more and more punishment. Again a big left hook from Ramirez. Rigby spending far too much time covering up needs to get those arms working if he wants to pull back into this contest. Well, you said to me before the boxing started tonight, Spencer, you, oh, as the right hand lands again, you just wondered how much those two fights with Michael Ayers have taken out of Wayne Rigby. And he's rallying here, but often we've seen fighters have a little rally. That's often the last 
little roll of the dice. Well, he's got through the round again without any great distress, but again, I, I don't know how you could score the round in Ricky's favour. No, you have to give that again, Paul Ramirez. Just on sheer work rate, not quality of punch, just sheer work rate. Ramirez really pushing this all the way. He must have a tremendous amount of confidence in his ability to go 12 rounds. Really working hard. A lot better, Wayne. You work your jab better. There's that big crushing right from Ramirez. And you can hear the corner saying, get that jab working, get that jab working. We're hardly seeing the Rigby jab, jab now, are we? I've hardly seen it at all. I mean, I've got Rigby winning the first round and the rest of them for Ramirez. Yeah, a couple of the rounds have been close, but I find it difficult to score for Rigby. Come on, Let's go. Listen, work your jab down. Listen in, Wayne. Yeah, you're listening. Where'd go? Where'd go? Here we go. Corner can't do any more than that. Now, they say it every round, don't they? Work your jab, work your jab, and he doesn't. That's, that's the instructions you've been told to do. Hasn't been boxing for them. Yeah. Boxing under the instructions. He needs a big round here, Rigby. Well, he can't jab from there, that's for sure. Well, have we seen a jab yet? Back to back, both to back. It's all foot. It would so slow Ramirez down if Rigby could just get that jab going. She needs to break the rhythm of Ramirez. Instead, he's stepping in and getting tagged by that right. That's up as better. We speak as one, Spencer. <laughs> I just wonder if Ramirez is going to put his foot down and find he's on empty. Because he's put a lot of work into these rounds and there's still a long way to go. He has put a lot of work in and for the first time Rigby looking the busier of the two. Ramirez, as you said, seems to have taken his foot off the gas a bit here. Of course, just as we say that, he draws a deep breath and comes again. Good left from Rigby. But Ramirez just won't let him off the hook at all. And Wayne Rigby is just not able to work hard enough. For Rigby getting through with the cleanest shots in this round. Ramirez throwing a lot of shots. The snap seems to have gone from them. And he doesn't seem to be getting through with as many. This is where Rigby now needs to pick it up. It's another good left. Another single shot, though. I'm just wondering if a single shot's going to be enough to get rid of Ramirez. He needs to find a few more of them. He needs to start mixing them up, putting his shots together. He's got his hands up well in this round. Rigby around that I'm going to score for him. Just on the cleaner shots. Just felt that he'd done enough to win that round. Come on. Box him now. You're listening. Box him. Box him. You've got to be boxing this kid, haven't you? You can do it. You can do this kid. But you've got to be boxing him, haven't you? Yeah. You've got to box this kid. Close your eyes. You've got to box this kid. You've got to box him. Jab, listen, in the halfway in the fight now, way. This is what we've got to be doing now. Boxing. Work off your jab now. Come on. There we are again. Work off the jab. But Rigby just doesn't seem to want to listen to his corner. This is really one tough, tough fight indeed. Another tough fight that Rigby's involved in. Trading blow for blow there. It seems the only way he knows, doesn't it, Wayne Rigby? He has to get in brawls and wars. 
He does indeed. Come Ramirez, on, for me, for me trying, doing a lot of work in that last round, but not landing with too much clean work. And Rigby just landing the cleaner of the two. I've got Ramirez four up with four to go. So a strong finish from Rigby. And he could easily turn this around. And what was my prediction back in round two or three that we would see a knockdown or two in this fight? Well, we haven't seen one yet. And I think that's perhaps the biggest surprise of the fight so far. Well, they've both soaked up so much punishment. Rigby's face tells a story. Yeah, they'll be hiding the mirrors in the Rigby household tomorrow morning, that's for sure. Because it's not pretty. But if he's got a belt around his waist, he won't mind what he looks like. And Ramirez continues to flail away like a windmill on overdrive. Good left hook going in there from Rigby. He seemed to stop Ramirez in his tracks. But Ramirez, the one doing the work. Well, a spring in the step of Wayne Rigby. I wonder if he realises that he was hurt there, Ramirez, with that left. And Ramirez has definitely slowed. Oh, good left to the body. But Ramirez comes back with great shots of his own. Much better round here. Really trading blow for blow. That was some good work inside from Rigby. And then a good response from Ramirez. But you did see Ramirez take a couple of backward steps there for the first time since the first round. And again, this time it's the right that gets through, and Ramirez is suddenly being opened up. There's some big shots going in there from Rigby. Good right hands and left hooks getting through. Ramirez for the first time looking a little uncomfortable. He definitely did up against the ropes there. He was wide open to the right as Rigby seems to have found a second win from somewhere. There he is, holding him down with that left hand again. Getting told off. And Rigby needs to keep it clean here and just keep the, keep the rhythm. Got him again. And this time it's Ramirez that has to hold. Well, this is a good turnaround from Rigby. Ramirez for the first time looking a little tired and Rigby really forcing the pace of this one. And landing the better shot, Spencer. That's the big difference here. He's landed four or five real solid shots here, Wayne Rigby. And for the first time in a long time, it's Ramirez that looks a little weary going back to his corner. And Rigby had a real spring in his step. As you rightly said, to seem to find second win there, Wayne Rigby. And pulled it out of the bag, really pulled on the pressure. Excellent round for him. Now Ramirez free up with three to go on my card. How Some wild of the good is work. Ramirez. Rigby covering up well. And there was that left hook. See Ramirez just stumble back there. Really stop Ramirez in his tracks. Right hand and left hook. And yeah, you could see it, couldn't you? Ramirez saying, hang on a minute. Oh, that's a real good shot here. And then Ramirez comes back. Again, this is some of the good work from Rigby. With Ramirez on the ropes, clubbing right hand around the side. This is where they're trading blow for blow. Still plenty of time for Wayne Rigby. Because even if Spencer's got Ramirez three up with three to go, some of those rounds were close. There's one of the judges right there, Roy Francis. Well, the snap just seems to have gone out of Ramirez's arms there. He's pushing the shots out. Well, he's thrown so many punches, Spencer. Sooner or later, it's going to catch up with you, and it looks like it's catching up with him here. You can't throw the kind of shots that this fellow's been throwing throughout the fight and not pay for it somewhere, and he's caught again, and the legs went. There was a wobble there. 
There was a definite solid left hook coming in from Rigby there. And Ramirez is being forced backwards and being forced to dig deep into his resources here in round 10. And you can hear the Ramirez corner getting very anxious about this. Good little left from Ramirez. The all Rigby at the moment yeah. really applying the pressure. Definitely found that second win. Ramirez seems... looks desperately tired to me. Sorry to interrupt you, Spencer. Well, that's what I was going to say. Ramirez looks desperately tired, and Rigby seems the stronger of the two. Looks like a gust of wind would blow this fella over at the moment. He looks absolutely shattered. <laughs> Oh, look at him sucking up breath. The spring right out of the Ramirez step here. And he's just walking through treacle at the moment. He does look unsteady on those legs. Rigby's got him again with the right. Good right hand going through. Nothing in those punches that he's thrown now, Ramirez. Well, if he can do it, this would be a gutsy performance indeed from Wayne Rigby. Well, if he can turn this one around, it will be an amazing victory for him. Ramirez, remember coming here, it started the favourite. And looks every inch the favourite after eight rounds, didn't he? Yes, well, he gets through the round somehow, but he can't get back to his corner quick Listen, enough. Wayne, you've got to be working more. You've got two rounds, haven't you, now? Two rounds to take this title, haven't you? Yeah. Two rounds. Wayne. Wayne. What? Clear shot. Step in. Throw the right hand. You're, you're letting him nullify your work. Step. Bang. Clear right hands over the top. Let's draw him now. Start drawing him. Deep haven't you? Deep Come on. Wayne. Big deep wing. Come on now. Got to win these two rounds. Yeah. Convincingly. Convincingly. Well, he's absolutely right. You've got to win those two rounds, Wayne Rigby. Despite this strong finish, you're still behind, son. But look how wobbly Ramirez is starting to look. Slipped under that right hand. Come over the top with that left hook. Really took a lot out of Ramirez that... And the corner are right, he's just got to step in and go and win this title on these last two rounds. I've got Ramirez two up with two to go. Two hands, you see him do it. Listen, come on. Let's go for it. Two of our judges are from England, one from the United States. Will they be needed? We're in round 11, one more after this. Wayne Rigby, the Manchester man in black. Antonio Ramirez from the Dominican Republic. Only one of them is going to be WBF light welterweight champion of the world. Who is it going to be? Can Ramirez hang on? Can Rigby storm back? Well, look at Rigby go here at the start of this 11th round, getting through some good shots. And I keep saying it, but Ramirez looks so unsteady on those legs. throwing punches but not really doing much with them and is there a bit of kidology here from Ramirez oh no nothing kidology about that yeah Ramirez getting through with a good left hook there Rigby took it well well now it's Rigby that's starting to look weary he's put so much into the last couple of rounds and you heard the corner say you've got to win these last two rounds convincingly. He's not convincing here. Don't know, don't know. Yeah, neither man. They're both looking very tired. No one 
really stamping their authority on this round. You can't blame them, Spencer. They've put so much into this, both men. Yeah, really been a tremendous work rate from both men. Real tough, grueling contest. Every second that passes is doing Ramirez a lot of good. And Rigby, well, he's pouring it on, isn't he? But he's not unloading the clean shots that the corner were talking about. He's applying pressure, but not effective pressure. And he's in too close, if anything, Spencer, isn't he? He's got to, that's more like it. Take a step back and unload. That's it's so much more effective when he does that. Good shots going in there. Nice short left hook and then rolled underneath. Made Ramirez miss. As you said, so much more effective. Just needs to step back and give himself a little bit of space. It's been a draining battle. And there's just three minutes of it left. Well, another tough, tough round. Very tough to score. Rigby maybe with the cleaner shots. Ramirez working hard. I'm going to lead towards Rigby on that one with one round to go. There's one in it. Of course, that's my unofficial scorecard. One, two. Let's see this punching. Listen, you've got to look. Just keep getting your jabs. Long shots. Don't get close. Long shots. Long shots. Long shots. Keep throwing your shots. Keep throwing your shots. Don't get close. I don't think Wayne Rigby knows any other way, though. Come on. Do it this way. Come on, Wayne. What are you going to do? Two hands attack. Off your jab. Off your jab. Wayne, it's that close. You've got to win this last round. If your cut scorecard is an accurate reflection, Spencer, it couldn't be closer. And he does need this last round. On Spencer Oliver's card, Wayne Rigby is one adrift. Which of these fellas can grab this title in the last three minutes? Would you? Where have they found this from, Spencer? Would you believe it in the 12th round? Really trading blow for blow. Both men know this is close. Ramirez, Ramirez looks absolutely shattered. He does the better work coming from Rigby here. Have we saved the best for last? You just sense that Ramirez is on the precipice at the moment. Yeah, really nothing left in Ramirez at all. And Rigby fighting for everything he's got. Rigby just doesn't know any other way to fight other than just pour on and pour on. He's got him again and he's got him backed up in his own corner. Good solid left hook going in there from Rigby. Ramirez feeling the weight of that one and stumbling into his own corner. You have to say as well that Ramirez has put up quite a battle here as well because these last three rounds must have been torture for him. Somehow he's kept it going. As you rightly said, he's really seemed out of gas since the end of the ninth round. He's stuck in there, and look at the pressure that Rigby's piling on here. But he's only got a minute and a handful of seconds left on my watch. Is this storming finish from Wayne Rigby going to be enough to make him a world champion? Amazingly, it looks like they're both going to finish on their feet. Oh, what a shot! And how did Ramirez take it? Massive right hand going in Ramirez. Gumshoe comes out. How did he take that, Spencer? Well, as we said, he seems to have been fighting on empty for the last few rounds. And what a right hand that went in, flush on the chin. And somehow he stood up. Now, can Rigby yet find the shot that puts him down and may turn everything upside down? 
Ramirez is in a desert at the moment. And what do they say, Spencer? The judges get influenced by how you finish, not how you start. On that basis, Rigby might have done enough. Well, I've got Ramirez one round up, but Rigby clearly winning this round. So I've got it all levels at the end of the contest. What a tough one to score, and what a tough fight it's been. And what an effort from Wayne Rigby again. Surely it's not going to be another heartbreak for him. Surely not after those Michael Ayers battles. What a performance. Well, what a finish from Wayne, Wayne Rigby. Who would have said after the eighth round that he would have got back into that contest? He was out of it after eight. I give this fellow some credit as well, because he looked dead and buried. He had to really survive. Those last four rounds, certainly the last three, were agony for Ramirez. And you can't separate them. I've, got this, I've, I've scored the fight all level. I had Rigby winning the first, and then from the second to the seventh, I had all for Ramirez, and then from the eighth to the twelfth, all for Rigby. What a contest. Two very evenly matched fighters with equal amounts of hunger and desire and passion because that's the only thing that could have kept Ramirez up in those closing stages. And it's the only thing that could have kept Rigby together as he was getting pounded through those middle rounds. What a right hand that was. The shot of the fight, Ramirez took it. If he'd gone down, it might have been a different story because I'm not sure he would have got up. There's that big right hand over the top, the gums were coming out. And like you said, how did he take that shot? 114, 114, your card reads, Spencer. Well, isn't it funny how you find that second win that the uh, once that final bell is gone? I should imagine they're both just so glad to hear that. You wouldn't want to be involved in too many of them in your career. The place will erupt if Wayne Rigby gets it. It'll be heartache if he doesn't. John McDonald is about to tell us and end this suspense. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Terry O'Connor has insisted that you show your appreciation for 12 absolutely fantastic rounds. Full credit to both boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Don Vallis scores the contest 116-113. Judge Roy Francis scores a contest 117-113. Wow. Judge Paul Thomas scores a contest 117-113. All three judges are in favor of, and the winner, and the new WBF Light Waterweight Champion of the World from the beautiful city of Manchester. He's got it, Rigby. Oh. Rigby. And they all saw it fairly comfortable. And doesn't it just go to prove that old adage once again? It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Rigby dominated the latter rounds, and he's taken the scorecards on all three. This fella looks sick. Well, what a contest he put up there, and he rightly so should feel a little bit gutted, but... Take nothing away from Rigby, though, Spencer. No, nothing at all. I had it as all level as a draw. No one deserved to be a loser in such a tough contest. But Wayne Rigby is the champion, and after the break, we'll be seeing another Manchester fighter, Carl Thompson, put his belt on the line. What a fight.